Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, we'll have a look at this ASUS ZenBook uh, Flip 14-inch OLED. And uh, this is actually, if you see, this is a two-in-one uh, laptop and it's actually a sort of a premium end laptop but again the specs are really good on this one it's not super super expensive we have seen some laptops that go above two lakhs or something but this one starts at about 92,000 goes up to about 1,34,000 I have the mid end variant that comes with the Ryzen 7 and the big thing is that this is actually a touch screen but if you notice how vibrant this is this is actually an OLED screen with 90 hertz so let's have a closer look at this laptop now but before we continue guys just want to make it very clear that this is a review unit that was sent to me by asus india and this laptop will be going back to asus very soon in fact asus team will also be seeing this video for the first time like you guys are doing just want to make that clear so guys this is the asus zenbook 14 flip laptop and this comes with this gorgeous uh, 14 inch oled uh, screen which is actually touch uh, screen guys and uh, in fact you can also use a stylus with this one it works even with the stylus the stylus is not included in the box but i tested it uh, and stuff like that it works very well uh, so that's not an issue i wrote uh, quite a bit of stuff and all those things so it works but it's actually not included in the box so this is a separate accessory you get the laptop itself and you also get this 100 watt a PD charger and just notice how small this is and this is actually a fast 100 watt PD charger so that's what I like and uh, the build quality of uh, this laptop is also very good it's an aluminium alloy so if, if you look at the laptop it looks very very premium I would say so no issues regarding that one and uh, gives that premium feel uh, that uh, you are looking for uh, moving to the ports guys uh, on uh, this end we have a HDMI 2 port I wish it was 2.1 but again I can understand it can output at 4k 60 fps then you have two uh, type c ports and actually you charge it via th these two ports uh, so it's a pd charging is supported on this laptop we just have some vents here to dissipate the heat back actually we have nothing but uh, just vents to dissipate again the heat and here we have the other ports we have one type a port and then you have the headphone jack and again some vents and just over here we have a micro sd card slot and some led lights to denote its charge or not and uh, the laptop hinge quality is really good that's very very important for a flexible laptop like this and again it works like this in the regular mode we also have a fingerprint scanner here uh, in, embedded in the power button and as you can see it works very very well so very responsive uh, fingerprint scanner and you can use it like this but you can also just use it like this in the tent mode in fact for watching videos I was just using it like this but you can also completely flap it up like this and uh, then use it in the tablet mode and write stuff and all those things so again this is the flex flexibility that uh, two in one offers so that's what uh, you get with this laptop and the hinge quality is really good on this one and in terms of build quality again they have done a very very good job even if you look at the number pad guys uh, the keyboard is fairly spaced out and you also have this led lighting white color one uh, that you get uh, but number pad if you look at it if you press this button you get these keys and you can just use it and the number pad uh, the trackpad is also very very responsive on this uh, laptop and it works very very well uh, coming to the configuration guys uh, uh, we get this in three variants the ryzen 5 ryzen 7 and the ryzen 9 what i am specifically having is the mid tier one that's uh, coming with the ryzen 7 this is priced at about 1 lakh 13 uh, thousand to give you an idea this is the ryzen 7 uh, 5800h uh, this is a proper 8 core processor with 16 threads based on 7 nanometer process and i have used this uh, what do you say uh, chip on various laptops this is a beast i'll also show you some benchmarks running on this one of course motherboard is made by asus maybe we have 16 gigabytes of ram and the good thing is that uh, all the three models if you go even with the ryzen 5 you're going to get 16 gigabytes of ram that's ddr4 ram that you're getting uh, uh, graphics are intel or radeon that you're having and uh, again this is not strictly for gaming uh, you can do light gaming but not a gaming laptop let me just zoom out and before we proceed guys here are all the specs for this uh, laptop as i've told you this is the ryzen 7 uh, variant with the 5800h you also get in the ryzen uh, 5 and the ryzen 9 also in this one and i even feel uh, the ryzen 5 which is the base variant that you can get for 92000 is a very well spec one the only difference is that uh, this uh, variant and the uh, ryzen 9 one actually come with one terabyte of storage uh, the ryzen 5 version comes with 512 gigabytes of storage and before i show you the benchmark scores let me 
actually talk about the screen because I feel that's a big highlight of this one. And man, this uh, video is simply not doing justice to the quality of the screen. It's a proper OLED screen, uh, 14 inch in uh, actually, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, 16 to 10 aspect ratio, you get a little bit extra vertical uh, space. And guys, this is not a regular 60 hertz screen. This is actually a 90 hertz uh, screen refresh rate. And this is a 2.8K screen that is 2,800 into 1,800 pixels. So excellent, excellent, uh, what do you say, screen quality that you're getting. It's 100% DCPI A3. So even for color critical work, etc. And if you notice, viewing angles are excellent. So I think so the big thing about this one is the screen quality uh, you get a lot of what you say two in one at this price point but none of them are having this quality of OLED screen that you're getting and uh, this is also Pantone validated uh, screen so it's uh, easy on your eyes guys so uh, screen is a big highlight but now let me actually uh, actually show you the benchmark results I've uh, saved them and all these benchmarks what I'm running you can also run it on your laptop to see the performance all of them are free that I'm running. I've stopped using paid uh, benchmarks so that you can also check. Uh, this is the Cinebench R23, a very popular one. Uh, this actually uh, uh, tests the performance of the actually CPU. And here we got a score of 10,618, which is a very, very respectable score. Uh, so again, that means anything uh, you throw on this uh, CPU intensive, it'll handle it. Uh, coming to the SSD, this model has one terabyte of SSD. Again, as you can see, very good scores. Read, we are getting uh, 2,238 and for writes 1960 again excellent excellent scores that we got i also ran geekbench 5 uh, first let me show you the cpu scores single core is 1404 and multi core is 7500 again excellent uh, scores that uh, we are uh, getting on uh, this one as you can see and uh, let me just uh, also i ran geekbench for opencl this is for the gpu 1 lakh uh, 57000 uh, uh, that we got and uh, here I also ran PC mark 10 overall and as you can see here we got a score of 5839 which is again a very very respectable score so what does all these numbers mean this means that anything you throw on this one it will handle it and even for video editing and stuff like that it will handle it fine uh, you also get this ASUS software over here bundled and you can change between the power modes and all those things uh, strictly speaking even in the balance mode it was more than uh, sufficient but here you can actually uh, change uh, if you want uh, uh, you can run system diagnostics and all those things over here change the fan profile and all those things from full i was running some benchmarks i run the benchmarks in performance mode but uh, mostly i was using in the standard mode also the fan did not make a noise in fact you have a whisper mode also if you enable that hardly fan uh, comes but even in general usage unless you're stressing i never notice fans to be intrusive as you can see the laptop is like running for about 20 minutes no fan noise whatsoever on this one the back portion gets slightly warm if you're stressing regular tasks not an issue so in that area also i like it it does not get very very hot uh, i like the keyboard travel uh, the keyboard is spacious as you can see at almost edge to edge that you're getting and i like the trackpad also and so so in those areas not a problem uh, as i've told you this also uh, the stylus is there on this one so you can actually use it for writing but again this is an actually not uh, included this is a separate accessory but the latency is actually good on this one i uh, wish it came inside the box but that's not the case uh, but overall i'm liking this laptop the hinge quality is good uh, for watching movies also was a very very good experience uh, thanks to the uh, what do you say screen on this one i was just using it like this in the tent mode in fact uh, let's also talk about the speakers uh, it's just a dual speaker but let me give you an idea uh, it's calibrated by harman kardon uh, let's just fire up uh, our youtube and just notice how fast uh, everything uh, by the way uh, word uh, what do you say is pre-licensed the license uh, word you are getting on this one student and home that you get on this one and again uh, if you notice i opened word let me actually open excel also to give you an idea how fast this laptop is again as you can see so that way it's blazingly fast uh, a laptop let's just search for copyright free music and i'm going to increase the volume guys now it's 90 percent It's not the loudest, but you have good, decent separation on this one. And it's adequately loud. I, I won't say this is the loudest that I have seen on a laptop, uh, but it's adequately loud. It's not like I was missing on the, let me just maximize it. This is 100%. So this is regarding the sound. 
It's adequately loud. I wish it came with a quad speaker, but this is a dual speaker setup that's getting and gets the job done. So guys, this was the ASUS ZenBook 14 Flip laptop. So now to break it down, overall I like this laptop, the build quality is good and everything. But let's uh, now talk about some of the things that I did not like. These are, many of them are nitpicking, but I thought you guys should know. And the first thing that I noticed with this laptop is uh, that uh, there is no place to hold this stylus. Yes, I know this is a separate accessory, but even if you buy it, there is no space to keep it inside the laptop. So that is something you have to be aware of, and this is not included in the box keyboard backlighting yes it has the keyboard backlighting not an issue you can switch it on and off but i feel it's not that bright and again as it's uh, the color could have been uh, different i would say something like orange or something this is me just nitpicking but that's what i have uh, noticed uh, i like the ports on this one but again this is nitpicking guys uh, we have a micro, uh, what do you say, uh, uh, micro SD card slot. It would have been great if they had a full size slot. It would be more beneficial to creators, video editors, because I feel this is a good laptop for people who are into video editing and also photo editing because of the quality of the screen. So that is uh, some nitpicking. And it just has one type A port. I wished it had actually two. That's my wish list. But again, you have the two type C ports on this one. Uh, rest, I like it. Uh, one thing I like, this is not a con. Uh, though this is a two-in-one guys uh, that convertible generally what happens is that with convertibles they are a lot heavier but this one uh, the weight balance has been done very very well it just weighs uh, 1.4 kilograms so it does not feel bulky now moving to the pros who is this laptop essentially for i feel this laptop is for people who are basically looking for a two-in-one but are looking for a premium build quality. The build quality is really, really good. And you have this sort of a budget. And ideally, I would say this is also for people who are into a lot of, uh, what do you say, professional, what do you say, uh, photo editing and stuff like that. The quality of the screen is very, very good. It's 100% DCPI uh, 3. So again, for even professional work, you can do it. And even I would say if you're opting for the Ryzen 7 or the Ryzen 9 1, even if you're sort of a video editor, you can get the job done. So again, it's a very good option even for what do you say uh, creative professionals and i like the fact that they opted with the 16 by 10 aspect ratio instead of 16 by 9 so it gives you a little bit more vertical space so overall i am liking this laptop the build quality is great uh, the screen is the star of the show and i would say for most users if you're not a very heavy user even the base variant that comes with the ryzen uh, 5 that's for 92000 is a very good pet that also comes with actually guys 16 gig bytes of ram but the ssd instead of one terabyte on these models is fine well but i feel for most users that's good and if you're slightly slightly heavy uh, sort of a user do a little bit more video editing and stuff like that then maybe the ryzen 7 might be the ideal fit for you anyways guys uh, what i'll do is i'll leave some of the links of this laptop it's also available on amazon and i'll also leave the official website of asus so that you can check it out anyways guys what do you feel about this laptop do let me know in the comment section below anyways guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is Ranchi and I hope to see you in my next video.